What's going on you guys and welcome back to another LumaFusion tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to create the highlight tracking effect. And I believe some of you have been requesting this for some time as well. And the effect looks like this. Now before we move over to the tutorial, you can probably see that I'm not using the Sony a7 III which I talked about in the previous video and you might believe that this is the Sony a6400, but it's not. The Sony a6400 is up there recording the iPad down here and this is the DJI Osmo Action. Now I really wanted to see how I could use this in my studio and how this could be a part of my life because I haven't really used this that much. Now, this has received a huge firmware update as well and you have this um, this here which is uh, the uh, accessory for the Osmo Action so you can plug a microphone into it. So let me know if you want to see a video on this tiny setup here and how this can uh, really make uh, your life easier if you're a vlogger and actually if you make videos like this. Now without further ado Let's do a big shout out to Ben Golden. Check out his channel, it's down in the description below. Now let's move over to the uh, tutorial. Let's make some awesome tracking motion highlighting effects, yes. So once we get over to Luma Fusion here, you can already see that I have the two clips here on the timeline. These are the two clips that you saw in the beginning of this video as well. And I must say that this effect is extremely easy to make. Now you can use this method to create your own unique style to this effect as well. This is just an example of how easy it is to make and how fast it actually is. Now let's move over to the first step. Now the first step is to duplicate these two clips one time so we have two of the same clip. We're going to place the duplicated clip on track number two and the next step is to hide the layers on track number two. Next step is to get into edit on the clip which is on track number one and we're going to make this a little bit darker. So we're going to color correct this to look more or less like a, a night shot and we easily do that by changing the brightness a little bit down, maybe adjusting the mid-tones and taking the saturation and vibrance down. Now once we have done the color correcting here, we can go over to the clipboard which is here, copy the effect, go out to the next clip here, select the next clip, clipboard and paste. So now you have the color correcting and adjustments to both of the clips. The next thing we can do is to unselect the eye here so we can see the clip on track number two. We're also going to color correct this a tiny bit. So we're going to go into edit and I'm simply going to do this the fast way. So I'm going to apply a basic LUT here. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to copy this LUT here, go out to the timeline, over to the next clip here and make sure that I select the color only and paste. So now we have the color correcting to these two clips on track number two as well. Now the next thing we need to do is to go into edit on the first clip which is on track number two. And we're going to go straight over to frame and fit and over to cropping. Now we're going to find a position where we want the crop to start. And uh, let's say we want to highlight the person and the farmer in the middle of the frame here. So I'm going to make one keyframe where I want it to start and then I'm going to skip one frame forward in time and make another keyframe and I'm going to take this and crop in. So once we made the first crop here, we can move forward in time until we want it to stop. Let's say here, make a keyframe 
and then go one frame forward in time, make another keyframe, and on this last keyframe here, we're just going to take everything back to zero. Now we can skip one frame backwards in time, and we can make sure that we uh, drag this over to the person which we want to highlight, or the subject or object, whatever you want to highlight. Just move this to the same position, and uh, once we've done that, we have this effect right here. So this is now tracking the subject down there and it goes back. Now to spice this up a little bit here, we're gonna go to the second keyframe here. We're gonna go over to size and positioning. I'm gonna make a keyframe here. Then we're gonna go one frame backwards in time, make another keyframe, and we can now pinch to zoom in to get that awesome zoom highlight effect as well now once we've done this we move forward in time here or you can go over to cropping and you can simply tap on the third keyframe here and then go back to size and position and make a new keyframe now this keyframe will be at the exact spot of the one which is under cropping here now we also need to go one frame forward in time here to make our last keyframe and on this one we can tap on the uh, a reset button here and it gets back to normal now moving one frame backwards in time so we get to the third keyframe here we have the zoomed in clip here and we're simply going to take that and drag over the person so it looks something like this now once we've done that we can move back to our timeline and we can do a playback to see how this looks <laughs> Perfect. Now you can also spice this up a tiny bit more by going into the uh, clip on the second track and you can add some additional colors here. You can spice up the uh, saturation a little bit to make it a little bit more appealing. You can also go to the cropping section here and you can use edge softness if you want to do that. You can make corners, you can make it like a circle. So let's say we want this to be a circle and we're just going to take this to maximum here and go to the next one here, which is the second corner radius on this as well. If we now do a playback, you will have a different effect. So now you have the circle instead of the square. Now let's move over to the next clip here and let's do the exact same thing as you saw in the beginning of this video. We're going to highlight the wood which is to the left of the house here. Now the first thing we're going to do is to go into edit, then we're going to move over to cropping and we're going to find the point where we want the crop to start. So let's say we want the crop to start here. Now to create this zoom effect which you saw in the beginning of this video as well, we're just going to move a couple of more frames and not only one which we did on the previous one. So let's go for uh, let's go for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, we're just going to go a couple of frames here. So we're going to stop it there and then make a keyframe. Now we do the exact same thing. We just scale this in so we have everything uh, marked within the cropping here like that then we move a couple of more frames here make a new keyframe and we position this to the place where we want it to be so there and then go a couple of more frames and make our last keyframe now on the last keyframe here we can take everything back to zero and on the first keyframe everything is zero so now you will have this coming in like this and going out like this now moving over to size and position here we're going to make a keyframe at these exact spots here where we have the keyframes under cropping so the first thing we can do is to go to the third one here over to size and positioning make a keyframe back to cropping and we can go to the next one back to size and positioning and make another keyframe now we can just move towards the beginning where right before it starts to zoom in or we can go to cropping select the keyframe and go back to size and positioning and make a new one this is by far the best way to do it to get the most accurate matching keyframes now on the second one here we're going to do the same we're going to zoom this in and we're going to place it above where it actually is like that 
and we can do the same thing on this one zoom it in and we can go back to this and see that this is uh, 184 so we want to try to match that as well so 184 and we now position this where we want it to be now once we've done that we can go back to our timeline and we can do a playback of this as well So here you have a complete different result compared to the first one we just made, which has this circle, it suddenly starts and then it suddenly stops. And on the next one, we have the square and it zooms in and then it zooms out. You can also adjust this to be a circle if you want to do that. Let's see if we go over to cropping and we go to the second one here, circle and the middle one, circle, and now if we do a playback of that, you will have the circle instead of the square. So it's really about being creative when you make something like this. Now you can use uh, different methods uh, to create this. It's, you can use shapes, you can use uh, green screen, you can whatever you want to make uh, by use, using this method here, you can probably make it. Now if you're going to use this in your video, uh, I really want you to upload that to or post that on Instagram and tag me because I really want to see what you managed to do with this type of effect and all the other effects that we create here on this channel. Now with that said, that's the end of the video and if you're new to this channel, make sure that you check out that subscribe button, that would be highly appreciated. Now until next time, make sure to check out Ben Golden, link in the description below and I see you guys in the next video.